Hello, thanks for tuning in today. My name is Josh Drum. In this video, we're going to briefly talk about the resolution on the D800 versus the D700. Now, the question I had in my mind, is 36 megapixels really that big a deal? Is it going to be worth the extra money to spend on the D800 at 36 megapixels when I already have a D700 or in some other cases a D7000 at 16 megapixels or whatever the case may be, it's not 36 megapixels. Is it worth it to spend the money to buy the D800? Well today we're going to find out. I took one picture with both my D700 and my D800. The settings were the same. I used my 24 millimeter 1.4 prime lens. Uh, the aperture was set at 4.5. Shutter speed is set at 400. So I'm going to pop those on your screen and we're going to take a look at them. Now this first picture you can see I just walked outside and took a picture of the pine tree in my backyard. And you probably can't notice but there's in the middle of the screen there, there is a pine cone. And this is the pine cone that I focused on and this is where we're going to see if we can hold details zooming in. So on your left here we have the D700, on your right we have the D800. Let's zoom them in. Let me just quickly tell you um, this isn't a 100% technically accurate comparison. If you technically zoom in the D800 and the D700 to a 100% crop on the size pictures, you're going to have the D800 a pine cone this big and the D700 a pine cone this big just because of the size of the picture. I want to know if I'm going to print an 8x10 or 4x6 or whatever you would like to print. Um, I want the pine cone to be the same size. So the cropping is not exactly going to be technically exactly compared. I'm looking at when I print a picture, is the D800 going to look better? Simply. Now already you can tell in this zoomed in picture that the D700 is losing uh, some sharpness. It's starting to get blurry. If you notice um, that the, the needles and the pine cones in the surrounding areas are starting to drop off where on the D800 the pine, cones, the pine cones surrounding the one I focused on they're all super sharp. The pine needles are super sharp and overall picture on the D800 even at just this zoom seems to be a lot sharper. seems to be a lot nicer of a picture. But with that said, let's zoom in one more time. So in this picture, we are starting to see that even the D800 is losing a little, little bit of quality. But if we go back to the original picture and go back to this zoomed in picture, you'll see that is quite an intense zoom. So you're going to see some dropping off in quality. But the D700, it's dropping off quite a bit quicker. Okay, Those 12 megapixels are not holding up when you zoom in this tight. On the D800 on the other hand, I think it's holding up pretty well. So you have to ask yourself, is it worth the extra money to go get a D800 or are you going to stick with the camera you currently have? My opinion is it's worth the extra money to go get the D800. I am a nitpicker for detail. I am a nitpicker for quality. I like everything to be super sharp. So if I want to be able to zoom in and crop in on a picture and still print a larger size, I feel like the D800 gives me that ability, gives me that freedom. You may see something totally different. Maybe the D700 or D7000 or the Canon 50D or whatever you're shooting with with 16 or less megapixels, maybe that's just fine for what you're doing. And to be honest, I don't print super large pictures, but I like the option to be there. If I want to print something large, if I want to crop way in, the D800 gives you that ability. Again, thanks for tuning in on this comparison of resolution with the D800 versus the D700. Let me know what you think. Is the resolution on the D800 really that much better than the D700? Is it worth it to you to spend the extra money? With that said, have fun shooting, and I'll see you next time. Thanks again.